So we're going to look into digestion and absorption in this module. So really understanding what's going on in our digestive system. Most people don't really aren't really aware of what happens from the moment that food goes in the mouth to the moment it comes out in the toilet. Don't really are aware of what's actually going on. So it's fantastic awareness to have. And actually by understanding what effect the food has in our body can really make a massive dif difference to the food we choose to eat as well. So let's look in at digestion. Digestion is the process by which food is broken up physically and chemically. So digestion is actually that breaking down or that breaking up of food. And that can be done physically in our teeth, so in our mouth, or in our stomach, does some physical breakdown as well. And chemically, by the enzymes that we use and also things like acid in that system as well. Now there's that side of digestion and our digestive system, but our digestive system doesn't just break things down, it helps to absorb as well. So absorption is the uptake of the product of digestion through the intestine ready for assimilation. So this basically means once it's been broken down throughout the whole system, it's then got a certain part of the system that's just re responsible for absorption. So all that's gonna do is help bring the nutrients that we've just broken down in through the lining of the intestine into our blood, circulate around so that we can use it to promote that optimal health, which is obviously what we need is that final step within nutrition. So these two work perfectly alongside each other. So we're going to look into the pathway of food. So taking this one step further to really understand what's happening in our bodies. Now, the reason why this one comes up and it is important to know about is because on your exam, you will probably be asked about the pathway of food at some point. So this bit is not about particular digestive processes or particular absorption. This is just about what is the route that a piece of food would take. So that when you first pop it in your mouth, where does it go? And where does it come out? <laughs> so it's that route that it would take, the pathway of food. And sometimes that's classed as the alimentary canal. And it's about nine meters long. And there are six different regions to it. So we're going to remember these. I'm going to give you a couple of different methods to remember them as well. First of all, it starts off in the mouth. We know that one. Then it goes down into your esophagus. So your esophagus is basically your food pipe. Um, that's where you, all your food and drink travels down through your through where your neck is right down into your stomach stomach's the next one then from your stomach it heads into the small intestine now this small intestine is broken up into three areas we'll go through the the need for these three areas later but duodenum jejunum and ileum it's good to know the order of these three because they have very distinct properties. They have very distinct roles. Dige duodenum works more from the digestion side, and the jejunum and ileum works more with the absorption. So we know the features of it as we start heading through. Once it's hit the small intestine and it's gone through those three areas, it goes to the large intestine. Now that's this larger one that you can see heading all the way around, sometimes known as the colon. And that's the, a much bigger in diameter, diameter compared to the small intestine. And then you have the anus, and that's where the food will get deposited from. So that's where it then ends up in the toilet. So that is our six-point pathway of food. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, which is broken down to duodenum, jejunum, ileum, then that goes into the large intestine and then into the anus. Really important that you know all of those steps and you're able to reiterate them. So as part of that, to help you remember, I've often been told about uh, and been asked, well, do we have an easy way to be able to remember the pathway of the food? And yes, I have one for you. So everybody loves an acronym. <laughs> so I've got two different types of acronyms I use to remember this pathway of food. So on the right hand side of your screen, you'll be able to see the list of the six areas plus the duodenum, jejunum and ileum as a breakdown of the small intestine. So all of those nine areas that I was telling you about. Now, on top of that, we also have um, a acronym on the left hand side and a little 
story almost down through the middle of this table. Now this table is dedicated to really understanding the pathway of food. So one that I really like, I've got two different methods. The reason why I give you two different methods is because everybody learns differently. I like really simple things, something that I can visualize, something I can remember easily. Whereas I know some people like more of a tangible story and having a story helps them link that to something that they know so that they can remember it better. And that means that then if you're asked in your exam, what follows the esophagus, for example, you can go down through your uh, little acronym or your little story until you have the answer. So this is the first one. The first one is over here on the left. And the reason why I like this one is it's simple. It's just think about a guy called Moss and he's a DJ in LA. So you would literally write down Moss and then DJ in LA. So D-J-I-L-A. And to be, there's enough of a trigger for me to be able to scribble that down on my scrap paper in my exam. And then obviously that will then lead off into being able to spell out mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, duodenum, jejunum, ileum, large intestine, and anus. Now, if you like a little bit more of a story, then here's one for you. This is my overly simple system, digests just inside, leaving abruptly. So this one obviously relates to digestion, so it can be a little bit easier to remember. And generally people remember that it starts in the mouth anyway, it's just the other parts that people get a little bit confused with. So having a little story or an acronym in place will allow you to reiterate that when you get in the exam. And that is absolutely golden. So if you have little strategies like this that resonate for you, then work on remembering those so that when you get in the exam, you can pop it down on your scrap bit of paper as soon as the exam starts and you'll be well away. So my favorite one is Moss is a DJ in LA, but there's also my overly simple system, digests just inside, leaving abruptly.